in Europe. Let's go live to Brussels now to speak to Marie de Soma, who's head of the European Migration and Diversity uh, Programme. Uh, Maria, I, I hope you could hear that, some of our correspondents outlining the challenges uh, that are facing European leaders at the moment. I mean, given the divisions in Europe, how, how hopeful are you that they can come up with some sort of solution at this summit? I'm not very hopeful. Um, I think the best that we will be able to see is rather vague uh, statements again, but nothing uh, very tangible, nothing very concrete at this stage. Many are talking about the various different issues and some ways around some of the big challenges. Mon many would say the, the biggest challenge is the responsible distribution of those migrants who actually make it uh, to Europe. What, what are some ways of overcoming that, do you think? Well, we need to find more solidarity, uh, find a common ground. There's been proposals by the European Parliament and earlier by the Commission. I think they would uh, provide a good uh, starting ground. Um, but as also mentioned in, in the previous uh, commentaries, the main uh, hurdle will be to find um, a consensus uh, between those uh, Central and Eastern European states not wanting to uh, take on any uh, refugees and uh, the Southern European member states who really want uh, a fairer share uh, or uh, sharing out of responsibility. I mean, this has come to a head now in June. It's, it's almost like a self-imposed deadline, isn't it, on the part of, of EU uh, member states, partly because of all the political change within the EU, the new leadership who are, in, who are pressing for some radical thinking on this issue. Exactly, and so indeed the most important developments there, I would say, are those in Germany, where we see that Chancellor Mer Merkel has a much more difficult position in comparison to the past um, and is under a lot of domestic pressure uh, similarly or, or differently but there's also important uh, shifts in Italy. Um, Italy's position actually hasn't changed. The previous government was also advocating the same uh, line of reasoning. Of course the way in which it's put forward and the kind of drastic actions that Italy has taken uh, have further aggravated tensions over this issue. How do you think Angela Merkel will navigate this, given the pressure she is in her own party, in her, her weaker position in her coalition party? It's, it's hard to tell at this stage. She seems to take the line as well uh, that we should go for a stronger external border control uh, of, around which it's easier to find consensus amongst the member states. Uh, I praise her efforts to continue talking about the fact that we also need a fair um, responsibility sharing mechanism within the EU because of course there's a danger to the strength of, to the strength of moving outwards, of outsourcing. Uh, it's a lot of talk at the moment uh, and it's much more easily said than it's actually done uh, and it's dangerous to focus only there when the what we really should be doing is is uh, looking at how to arrange things internally. Marie de Soma, thank you for getting up so early for us, joining us live from Brussels. We appreciate uh, your time. Uh, so we shall keep a very close eye on that summit. Of course, Brexit will feature as well, so we'll discuss all those issues uh, 